Remember this quote? What are you? Mobile, agile, hostile. What is pain? French bread. What is fatigue? Army clothes. Will you ever quit? No. We want some mo. We want some mo. We want some mo. Legendary T.C. Williams High School football coach Herman Boone passed away Wednesday at his house in Alexandria, Virginia. He was 84. You watched the movie like I did. You know Boone led T.C. Williams to a 1971 state championship. You know his team was the only integrated team in the state's class that year. It means he and the Titans had to whip 15 all-white teams to capture the state title. They had to deal with race in a way they didn't. The team also finished as national title runner-up. Did you know, though, that he graduated with not one but two degrees from North Carolina Central University, that his middle name is Ike, that President Richard Nixon credited Boone with saving the soul of the city of Alexandria? Did you know the city feels the same way? Did you know he chewed film like a man with a pouch-a-day habit? His daughter was at his side at the end. She told one of Boone's assistants on his 1972 team, a fellow named Ali Khan Johnson, that Boone asked for a clipboard so he could start drawing up plays. And so that scene in the movie where Boone is watching film with Bill Yost's daughter and arguing about whether the veer is a run first or pass first option, uh, off, offense, excuse me, that's Boone. Ali Johnson recalled doing the same while Boone was just a month removed from college. He said, quote, I'd watch him take the projector out, point it at the bathroom wall, review plays and so forth until late at night. You saw the dedication. And Boone had a definite and complete understanding of what the makeup of his team needed to be to win games. Remember this quote. You look like a bunch of fifth grade sissies after a cat fight. You got anger. That's good. You're going to need it. You got aggression. That's even better. You're going to need that too. But any two-year-old child can throw a fit. Football is about controlling that anger, harnessing that aggression into a team effort to achieve perfection. When the city brought T.C. Williams to life, the idea was to integrate 17 years after Brown versus the Board of Education. But Boone and Yost didn't know they'd be dropped into the melting pot together. Yost was a legend in his own right, coming from Francis C. Hammond High. And he, you know, initially bucked at the idea of working under Boone. Last May, at Alexandria City Public School Hall of Fame and induction ceremony, Boone said he thought the higher-ups were messing around too. He said, quote, We thought it was a joke. But it ended up being better for Alexandria than Brown versus the Board of Education was. We were as different as night and day, but he and I found a way to talk to each other and trust each other. In the end, he was the best friend I ever had. Yost passed away last May at the age of 94. And there was no mistaking what Boone meant when he spoke. He was the clearest communicator many of his players ever had and would ever know. 1971 Titan and tailback Wayne Sanders said of Boone, he didn't need to say anything. He just looked at you and that look said it all. There was no denial in what he was saying. He meant what he said and he said what he meant. For impressionable teenagers, this meant that Boone was a force not to be ignored as the head coach physical education, and driver's ed teacher, he gave young men exactly what they needed to know at that age. He was there to teach, to lead, to guide, and prepare young men to go out into the world and do great things. Discipline, cleanliness, and order were the tools Boone used to build his program. Quarterback Kenny White lived to tell about how fanatical Boone was about punctuality. It would not hesitate to do what he said he'd do if his rules were broken. One day, White and the rest of the team had been told to be at the buses by 4.59 p.m. to leave for a game against Herndon. White 
While the rest of the team sat on the buses, they saw White running to get his gear. Boone asked Coach Dennis Hines what time it was. He said it was 4.59 p.m. White recalls running past the buses and then hearing the engines crank. They left me, he said. I was a starting quarterback, and they just left me. One of the biggest things he taught me was to be on time and be responsible. If it weren't for the athletic director who drove past and saw me standing on the side of the road with my gear, I wouldn't have made the game. End quote. It was raining the day Earl Cooks skipped class, but he made it to practice. Boone didn't say anything when he saw Earl, Earl thinking he was sly. Boone just walked up to him and told him he owed 24 laps around the track. An assistant sat underneath an umbrella and counted all six miles Earl ran in a helmet and pads. Did that method of discipline work? Well, Earl became a team captain and a police chief. Then in 1979, Boone was fired after winning four district titles and two regional ones after allegations of player abuse surfaced. So you tell me. But remember this quote from the movie? A water break. Water is for cowards. Water makes you weak. Water is for washing blood off that uniform. And you don't get no blood on my uniform. Boy, you must be outside your mind. We are going to do up-downs until Blue is no longer tired and thirsty. The old folks will tell me it took a hard ass to make that situation work. Maybe so. But while there are those who have problems with the way that group of titans was portrayed on film, the best parts, the parts that hit and leave a mark, have the character that is based on Boone at its center. And his promise to let you know where you stand with him, players, coaches, officials, parents, was what made him special. Remember this quote. Now, I may be a mean cuss, but I'm the same mean cuss with everybody out there on that football field. The world don't give a damn about how sensitive these kids are, especially the young black ones. You ain't doing these kids a favor by patronizing them. You're crippling them. You're crippling them for life. Anybody can get it is a motto I understand and I hold dear. A willingness to run it again until we get it right, not once, not twice, but three times in a row. Reps is the only way I know how to get things done. Remember this quote. We will be perfect in every aspect of the game. You drop a pass, you run a mile. You miss a blocking assignment, you run a mile. You, bump, you fumble the football, and I will break my foot off in your John Brown hind parts. And then you will run a mile. Perfection. Let's go to work. I'll add to that. Civic perfection. Let's go to work. Remember that quote. Remember Herman Boone. Remember the Titans. Deuces. <laughs>